broke up with you. It was a one night thing, okay? A one night thing. Look, look, please stop crying. Who, who the fuck is Todd? <laughs> Hey everyone, SMG here, welcome back to another SML reaction. This one is called SML Movie Joseph's Grandparents. Let's get into this right here, right now. Go watch the original video down below. Go subscribe to SML, make sure you like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and share. Let's get it in 3, 2, 1, let's go. Oh man, I can't wait for Cody to get here. We're gonna have a movie night. Hey Junior. Oh hey Cody, are you ready to watch Shark Boy and Lava Girl? <laughs> am I ready to watch Shark Boy and Lava Girl? Of yeah. Course I am. It's a cinematic masterpiece. I know it was way before its time. It oh yeah, it, yeah. it was. It was a great movie. It was a great movie. So let's watch it. Well, Junior, on the way over here, I found this phone on the ground. You found a phone on the ground? Yeah, and it's unlocked, and it has a picture of like something on it. I don't know. Oh God. So you don't know whose phone that is? No. Well, we should do some prank calls with it because if we call people from that phone, they won't know it's us. They'll believe it's whoever we pretend to be. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, let's, let's prank call Joseph because Joseph doesn't have parents, so we should pretend to be his long lost grandparents that are super rich and that we want to take care of him. <laughs> yeah, I like it. It's so mean, but I want to do it. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Cody, I'm calling Joseph. Ooh, let me hear. Let me hear. Stop, it's ringing. Stop. Shh. Uh, hello? Uh, hey, is this Joseph? Yeah, who is this? Um, uh, this is your long lost grandpappy, Leviticus Seymour Pankins. <laughs> Uh, yeah. You sure do. You have a grandma too. Totally. You hey, totally. It's your grandma, uh, Eleanor Saggy Bags Bacon. <laughs> wow! I really have grandparents. I never thought I would have grandparents, but now I have them. Yeah, we're your grandparents, and we're super rich, and we did a DNA test, and you're our only grandchild. So we'd love to give you all our money and travel around the world with you. Oh man! Yeah. <laughs> like a dream come true. What if? <laughs> I would love to meet you right now. Where are you? Uh, we, we are, uh, at your friend Junior's house. Oh, wait, wait, why are you at Junior's house? Uh, because, uh, we were driving around in our very expensive limo looking for you because we love you so much. And, and, uh, our limo broke down in front of this kid Junior's house. Okay. Really? Well, yeah, that... Right now. Stay there, had family. I nope. Need to meet you right now, it's a prank. This is a dream it's gonna be a prank, oh, boys. Well, anyway, we'll see you in a minute. Bye. Joseph thinks he has grandparents that actually care about him. Junior, he seemed really excited. That's part of the prank, Cody. He believes it. Well, he's going to be really sad when he finds out we were lying. No, it just means that we're really good pranksters, and then that's how good the prank is. <laughs> Jun Junior's going to pull a good one. Hello? Hey, guys. Where are my grandparents at? Where's your grandparents at? Yeah, dude. I finally have grandparents now. Every night, I think about ending it all. And I finally was going to do it. Today oh, shit. Night. Joseph's so suicidal. He's always been suicidal, actually. And that's my grandparents. Where are they? You know what happened to his mom? Oh, I feel bad. Me too. I think we should just tell him it's a prank and that we're sorry. Um, Joseph, what if this whole grandparents thing was just a big prank? Just a big prank? <laughs> just a big prank? <laughs> I would just kill everybody. <laughs> oh, shit. Joseph needs therapy. You saw your grandparents, right, Cody? Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, we just saw them. Oh, where are they? Well, they pulled their limo up in front of the neighbor's house, and then when they were walking across the neighbor's yard, the neighbor shot him. What? Why would he do that? And then the neighbor thought your grandparents were robbers, so he shot him. <laughs> what hospital are they in? I need to see them right now. Oh, no, 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 they're not hmm. in the hospital. He, uh, the neighbor shot him with a flamethrower, so it just... Flamethrower? ...into a million pieces. Oh, I'm gonna kill your neighbor! What well, no, the cop showed up and, and shot the guy's flamethrower, and it blew up, so he blew up into a million pieces, too. Oh, I'm gonna kill your neighbor's family! Oh, well, the neighbor's family, they moved out of that house. When they saw him die, they sold their house immediately because they didn't want to remember the house for that. So they Junior, just say it's a prank. Oh, what a fast realtor. Um, well, at least my grandparents left me all their money. Oh, the news just keeps getting worse and worse, Joseph. What? As your grandparents are burning alive, they screamed out, We took every dollar bill in cash that we were going to give Joseph and put it in the, the trunk of the limo. And then the neighbor shot the limo with the flamethrower, so all the money burned up and exploded. What? There's so much fire in this story. I know. Oh, well, is it going to be on the news? Oh, well, the news crew showed up, and the guy shot the news crew with the, with the flamethrower, and their cameras burned up, so there's no footage that this even happened. Yeah, yeah, that guy was a real maniac. He, he burned a lot Man. of people. Yeah. So much. I'll never be happy. Well, Joseph, look, stuff like this happens every day. No, it doesn't. Well, look, 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 Joseph, Joseph, look. Me and Cody found this phone, and we've been prank calling people. You want to go make some prank calls? That'll cheer you up. Mm-hmm. 
I guess so. Yeah, come on, buddy. <laughs> so, Joseph, who do you want to prank call first? I don't know, dude. I'm sad. Cheer up, Joseph. Why don't you prank call Chef Pee Pee? That'd be funny. You could act like you're a Nigerian prince and you need money. Why? Because I'm black? What? No. No. Oh, about that. Um, how about yeah. You prank call and act like you're asking for his car extended warranty. Ooh, ooh, you could call and ask if he has 10 pound balls. Isn't that only funny for the bowling lanes? What? No, I just want to know how big his ball sack is. Oh. Well, look, we should let Joseph decide because he's the one that's sad. I'll just do the Nigerian prince one, dude. Oh, it's going to be really funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, just ringing. You got to stop crying, Joseph. It's not going to be funny. Hello? Hello, Chef BB. Todd? <laughs> I told you to stop calling me. Todd. I broke up with you. It was a one night thing, okay? A one night thing. L please stop calling. Who? Who the fuck is Todd? It's not you. It's me. It's not that I didn't like it or anything. I'm just more into girls, you know. I'm trying to find myself, okay? <laughs> Look. So Sean PB is gay. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Maybe I, I can come see you again. Maybe a spark will happen. Bruh. You know what? Screw it. I'm coming to see you tonight at 10. It'll be like last time. Old Pound Town and Brown Town. <laughs> okay? Uh, okay. Bye, tight cheeks. Bye. <laughs> Joseph, what was that? You didn't even talk. You just cried the whole time. I don't know. He was calling me Todd. I don't know what was going on. Dude, I'm just going to leave. Oh, the, the, the door. Well, Chef Pee Pee is so <laughs> sus. Hey there. Is Joseph here? Who are you? My name is Leviticus Seymour Pankins. And I'm Eleanor Thaggybags Pankins. What, what the hell? They're real? Who are these clowns? We're your grandparents. And we want to take you around the world. And give you lots of money. Joseph, these are your grandparents. Oh, I get what's going on here. You felt so bad for me that my grandparents died that you hired these clowns to pretend to be them. Well, no, 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 Joseph. No, they're no. Grandparents. They're your real grandparents. Yep, yep, that's right. No, they're not my real grandparents, dude. Look, I got to get over this. I appreciate you helping me trying to mourn this situation, but I, I got to mourn on my own. This isn't helping. Well, no, no, these are your real grandparents. Like, your, your grandparents aren't dead. Those are your real grandparents. Okay, dude, now you're making me feel real bad, dude. They're already dead. You don't have to rub it in. What? Joseph! What, what's wrong with him? Well, no, no, uh, he's just so excited to see you guys, so come inside and we'll figure it out. Yep, yep. It's basically Mario's grandpa and, and Junior's grandma. Your grandparents. No, they're not. You told me yourself that my grandparents died and they're not coming back. No, 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 Joseph, Joseph, listen, Junior was lying. Your grandparents didn't really get burned up by a flamethrower. Shut up, for He just told the story. Junior would never lie to me. He's my best friend. Isn't that right, dude? But I would lie to you. I lie to you all the time. And these are your grandparents. That's not a lie. You don't have to lie to me to make me feel better. Now, Joseph, now, Joseph, listen here, son. Now, listen here. We are your grandparents. And we just want to spend a bunch of money on you before we die. Yeah, that's right, baby. Because we don't know how much longer we got left. And we want to spend our final days with our grandbaby. Yep, we just want to get you whatever you want. You see that pearl necklace your grandma wearing? I got that for her today. Oh, yeah. Between you and me, that's the second pearl necklace I got her today. Mm-hmm, yep. She a freak. She a freak. Get away hey. from strangers before I call the police. Wait, wait, wait. That, that, that's it. Wait, Cody, the police. What if we call the police and the police will tell them that the flamethrower thing never happened? Yeah, good thinking, Junior. I'll go call the police and, and then I'm going to poop. So if I'm not in the next few scenes, that's why. Okay. Uh, oh, you yeah. Call the cops. Yeah, you better. Hey there, you call the cops? Oh, uh, yeah, I need your help. Mm. I can tell. What? Uh, There's no way you're gonna racism. Play basketball by yourself. You're gonna need my help. Hold on, we'll be skins. Well, no, we're not oh, you're going down. You never played basketball against me. Pass me the rock. We're not playing basketball. Well, why couldn't you have told me that before I unbuttoned my shirt? Now my nipples are gonna get all cold. They're gonna get diamond hard. Feel them. I'm not gonna feel them. Hey, yo. Come on. Why do you have to be sus? I told him his grandparents got killed by a flamethrower. Why the hell would you do that? Well, anyway, his real grandparents showed up, and he doesn't believe that those are his grandparents because he thinks they're dead. So can you tell him that nobody died by a flamethrower today? Why don't you just tell him that you're liar i did he won't believe me you gotta tell him okay fine hey kid <sighs> what do you want from me you stupid pig okay screw you then well, no 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 tell him no he was mean to me no please tell him <sighs> okay fine bro hey, kid oink, 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 pig. be the bigger man be the bigger man. do it the hat's dumb it's a dumb hat you look stupid in that hat damn it i'm sorry i was, I was trying to be mature uh, uh, tell him look look your grandparents aren't really dead what really no there was no flamethrower i mean i'm pretty sure that would have been on the news it would have been a big deal your friend lied you said that the, the news people got hit by the flamethrower Really? Just tell them the truth. Look, no, that didn't happen either, okay? There's more than one group of news people. You would have heard about it. Oh, I see what's going on. Junior, you hired this crooked cop to lie to me. <laughs> what crooked cop? What? I got scoliosis. Hold on, let's stand up straighter. There we go. Wait, no, I did not pay the cop to lie to you. You can't even do that. Junior you lied to you. Time. Enough said. It's true. People pay me to lie all the time, and I've planted a lot of evidence. Oh, what can we do to make him believe it? Ooh, ooh, ooh. How about this? How about I change into my doctor outfit, and then I give him a DNA test? He's got to believe that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get a DNA test. Okay. 
I'm gonna go change in my doctor. You are the grandson! It's gonna be a Mori like Mori show. DNA test to prove to you that they are your grandparents. Oh, what a waste of time. They're not my grandparents. Yes, they are. Listen to the doctor. Yeah. Wait, wait. Aren't you that police officer that lied to me a second ago? <sighs> yeah. Well, aren't you gonna lie to me about the DNA test results? All right, look, I give up. These people are not your real grandparents. Your real grandparents are dead. Tell me something I don't know. No, no, no. Hold on, Joseph. Hold on. We just wanted to be good grandparents and be in your life and buy you a bunch of stuff. But it's obvious now that you don't want that. So let's go, baby. Well, I always love you, baby. All right, I'm going to walk them to the car, you know, since they're old. Thank God those posers are gone. But Damn. Dude, those were your real grandparents. Look, I'm tired of you lying to me, dude. I'm out of here. Well, no, come back, Joseph. Hey, you guys want to play some basketball? I'm out of here. Bruh. No, Joseph, please don't leave. No, I'm out of here, dude. I'm tired of this. First, my grandparents die, and then you hire fake grandparents to, to make fun of me. Wait, 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 what's that screaming? Dude, you're not listening to me. Oh, I am. Look, 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 I'm sorry. All this happened because I lied to you, and I promise I, I'll never lie to you again. I want to be a good friend for you. <sighs> okay, dude. I accept your apology. Jesus Christ, get, get in the house. Close the door and lock it. What's going on? There's a maniac out there with a flamethrower. He just burned up those old people. <laughs> they deserve it, losers. Oh, oh my god, the limo just exploded. There's burning money everywhere. Oh, oh good, the news is here. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh god, not the news. Wow. On fire. This is horrible. Is, it, is that a for sale sign in your neighbor's yard? That fast? Who could sell a house at a time like this? Bruh. There, there's a buyer already? And a U-Haul truck? This is insane. Oh good, the police are here. Oh, oh my god, they just shot the guy with the flamethrower and now he's on fire. There's so much fire happening in your front yard. Uh, let's get out of here. Yeah, dude. Oh, the humanity. Yeah. It's horrible. Man, I was backed up. Todd, where are you? I even have the cowboy hat. Wait, who's Todd? I guess he's my ex now. <laughs> I, I can be your rebound, Chef PP. Brah! Oh my god. <laughs> that was that, that was crazy. Um, let's see here. Um what is the worst lie someone has told you? I honestly do not know, so I'm not going to answer it. Um, anyways, guys, go watch the original video down below. Go subscribe to SML. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe, ring the bell, and share. 5 out of 10. Eh, it's not... Eh, I, I, it's not the best video. It's not the worst either. But, uh, yeah, 5 out of 10. Alright, guys, go watch... Uh, I'll see y'all in the next video. There, guys. Thanks for watching, and deuces. <laughs>